the clips in slow motion. Obviously, we can see that the shoulders with both dogs are under a lot of stress from twisting and stopping suddenly. But let's take a closer look at the front legs and the impact on them. Look at how the toes spread and judder when coming to a stop. This obviously asserts a lot of pressure through the joints in the toes, which is also transferred to the wrist or carpal joint that eventually has to sustain the full weight of the dog. And here they are combined with the twisting action. Let's look again at Monty chasing the ball. And this time, see if you can spot what else Monty uses to help him stop and turn. The moment he takes off, he seems to stiffen and his neck tenses. On landing, his body tries to dissipate and absorb the concussion, which due to the tension in his neck, he cannot do easily. The stress from this impact not only affects his neck, but his entire body too. No apparent tension. His neck extends, his expression, well it's his normal laid back self, and his body is ready to absorb the stress on landing, which he does comfortably and with ease, therefore reducing the effects of the concussion.